Hey everyone, Steve Poland here, and as my subscribers know, I breed African cichlids. These fish are mouth brooders, which means that the females carry their eggs in their mouth until they hatch. After several weeks, the mother will spit out the fry once they have grown large enough to swim freely. And if you want to keep those fry, you have a couple of options. One is to move the mother to her own tank as soon as you notice she's holding eggs and let her spit there. But if you don't have a tank available, a second option is to strip the fry out of her mouth and use something called a tumbler to move the eggs around until they're ready. So I wanted to show you the process I go through. This is a blue neon peacock, and she's been holding for a couple of weeks, so this is the prime time to strip her if I plan to tumble the eggs. If I waited another week or so, she would be spitting out free swimmers. So I just reach in and grab her as gently as I can. And you may be able to see that she already spit a couple of fry when I was moving her into the breeder box a few minutes ago. And once I've got her, I'm going to open up her mouth. And there are a couple of different ways to do this. You can use your finger, but I would usually use a twisty tie and bend the end a little. It's not sharp or anything, and it won't hurt her. And then I just ever so gently open up her mouth and the fry will start to come out. And usually, I'll just do this one more time to make sure that they're all out, giving her a gentle rock up and down. And then I'll either put her back in the tank, or if possible, I'll keep her separated for a bit. The females typically don't eat while they're holding, and I like for them to get their strength back before they have to deal with tank mates. This is the egg tumbler. There are lots of different kinds, but this is a pretty basic one. And the easiest way I've found to move the fry into the tumbler is with a short piece of airline tubing. Just suck on the end a tiny bit, and it will move the fry up into the tubing. Then just put your finger over it and move them into the tumbler. This is just like you would have done with a straw in your soft drink as a kid. Then once all the fry are in the tumbler, you can move it into a tank and hook it up to an air pump. You don't need a lot of air. The fry should just rock gently the way they would in their mother's mouth. Then once the fry start to swim around in the tumbler, you can move them to a breeder box or to their own tank. If you have any questions about this, then let me know down in the comments. If this is your first time here at my channel, then I'd love to have you subscribe. Because each week, I bring you a new video sharing my experiences in the aquarium hobby. I give updates on my tanks, review products, show you DIY projects, and share tips and tricks to help you take your tank to the next level. Hit subscribe to follow along. Have a good one.